Hey everybody, I'm back with another video for you guys. So yes, let's hop into it. Let's hop into it. Let's see what messages we have for the collective. I think I'm gonna start off with the romance angels here. Let's get a message from the romance angels. Some of y'all have somebody who is very codependent upon you, okay? Like, this person, this is someone from the past, okay? Someone from the past um, has some type of codependency upon you, okay? They have some, they're connected to you, they're addicted to you in some way, shape, or form. This is addictions, okay? So, if somebody from your past wants to come back in and reconcile with you, they're coming in, yep, and give this relationship another shot. So, y'all have somebody who is returning, okay? They're returning. You and this person could have, um, you and this person could have split because y'all have a difference in, like, y'all just don't see eye to eye. Y'all aren't on the same page. It could have something to do with religious factors. It could have something to do, like, one of you guys could be religious, one of you could be spiritual. It just doesn't mix. Y'all have different views on things. And then we got let your friends help you. So they could be coming in trying to uh, get close to you um, through a friend, okay? Through a friend I'm giving. But I'm definitely getting, like, this person, yeah, but see, but I feel like this person is going to try to come back, but you could already have somebody new. You waited on this person. You could have waited on them because you felt like they were your soulmate, but some of y'all already have somebody new, okay? So, they're coming back. It's like it's too little too late. It's a little too late. Yep, free yourself. Yep, you've already freed yourself. You've already freed yourself from this connection. Yep, you've already freed. It's like, you know, it's just a little too late. It's just a little too late for this person. You already have a new lover. You already got something new going on. Hmm. Okay, let me see. It sucks to be this person. Sucks to be you right now. It's what goes around, comes back around. Hey, my baby. What goes around, comes back around. Hey, my baby. Yeah, it's like, mm, mm-hmm. Yep, see, this person is coming back with the offer. See, the offer is that they have reinvented themselves. They want you to believe that they reinvented themselves, so they're coming in with this offer. Okay. Mm, I don't know. I'm getting, see, the answer is no. I feel like some of y'all going to turn this person down, turn this person's offer down. They've been spying on you. They've been spying on you. But I feel like a lot of y'all are going to turn this offer down. It's like you don't believe that this person has actually made the changes necessary, necessary to be with you. Some of y'all are already on something new or you're looking for something new. Yep, you are you in a new direction. You done took a new direction. And I, like I said, you were very patient with this person. Okay, you were very patient with this person, but y'all done found somebody new. And this person coming back in with this offer is like it's not enough. You've already freed yourself from this connection. Why is codependency here? Free will. You gave this person free will. And what they did with that free will, they went in and stuck a third party in the situation. Okay? So, once that happened, that was the end of the story. 
the chapter was closed. Once they inserted a third party, the chapter was closed, okay? You gave this person free will. It's like, okay, I know that you have these, you addicted to me. I know you love me. I know you care about me. But at the same time, this is going to be up to you. You move. I'm going to give you free will. Let me see what you're going to do. And what this person did with that free will, they added another person to the situation. And that was the end of that story. That, that was it. Well, reconciliation here. Fifth dimension and surrender. See, this person that have to... Whew, this person is willing to surrender all of their little ways and stuff like that. Like things that they thought that they wanted. They already tried this and that and they saw that they didn't like it. Now they want to come back. Maybe next lifetime. <laughs> Yeah, this is somebody, it could be a Capricorn for some of you, but this person really does have this devil type energy. Like they got real addictive ways, codependent ways. They could have some type of drug addiction um, as well. Like this person is just tied to you, bound to you. You could be like feeling like you're kind of like, you know, bound to this. I feel like some of y'all have purged from this person. This was something that was, that was hard to disconnect from. I don't think it was easy for you to disconnect some of y'all um had to basically like go through a numbing session where you kind of like you're numb to the pain this person has brought caused some type of uh cause some type of hell in your life okay I'm getting somebody went through a metamorphosis. Yep, see, we got return. See, this person is coming back, returning, trying to get you to say yes to this union again. Okay, this person is trying to get you to return to them. They're trying to get you to return to them or them return to you. But I feel like they want you to say yes. They want you to still want this union. Okay, they're trying to get you to still want this union. But it's too late. Y'all already got somebody new. Y'all already took a new direction. <sighs> yeah, see, you freed yourself from this connection. You were at a crossroad. I feel like this person returning puts you at a crossroad. But you got bigger dreams in mind. You got bigger goals in mind. Like, there's something new. Something new that's getting ready to come into full full fruition. It looks like there's a full moon here on this card. Okay, so I feel like some of y'all have, you know, this, this situation puts you at a crossroad. And I feel like some of y'all are definitely going to say no to this offer because there's a third party involved. But this person is wanting you to say yes. Okay, like come join this union. Come be, you know, let's put this, do us again. And I just feel like some of y'all like, no. As long as Woody Woo is involved, no, I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want nothing to do with that. I don't want nothing to do with that at all. Show me this person's intentions. Intentions. Show me this person's intentions towards my collective. Why do they want to return? What was the big change? What is going on? Why is this person coming towards the collective? They're coming to resolve some conflict with you. They are in conflict with you. We got the five of wands and the temperance here. It could be a Sagittarius, but they want to resolve. They want to work something out, um, take something to the next level with you because they feel stuck. They feel stuck. This person feels like they're like nothing. They're incomplete without you. Yep, it's somebody's masculine. We got the emperor here. Somebody's divine masculine. Okay, somebody's twin flame, somebody's counterpart. Okay. They're worried that you found somebody new to talk to, to 
to have, you know, be intimate with. And here, look at this. It started off with the emperor and it ends with the empress, okay? So definitely I feel like this is somebody's twin flame. This is somebody's um, soulmate counterpart. This person is super duper nervous. They're nervous. They're having big regrets. They feel guilty about something. We got the five cups and the nine of swords. That's guilt, okay? Okay, now this is why this person feels guilty. They feel guilty because they made you wait to the last minute to say something. Um, and they they betrayed you. The moon and the ten of swords, this is the ultimate betrayal. They betrayed you by walking away and leaving you by yourself, you know, to figure all of this out, to gain, to gain some clarity. And it just happened out of the blue. It was random. Okay, so they, they betrayed you and they feel guilty about it. They feel real guilty about it. Their challenge is how are they going to start a conversation with you? They don't even know how to start the conversation off. They just want to. It's like you stop believing in them. They know that you don't believe nothing that they say. Everything that come out of their mouth, they know that they made it that way. That you're going to say it's a lie. But they know that they made it that way. They've been waiting um, for you to kind of like reach out to them. They've been trying to make you reach out to them. They've been trying to get your attention. They've been trying to manifest you back into their world, into their reality. They've been trying to get your attention. They've been coming up with all kind of things to get you to pay attention to them. They've been coming up with all types of schemes, plots, everything to get you to pay attention to them. Okay? They've been trying to get your attention. They want to talk to you about something. Why is that page of wands here? They want to talk about the past. Look at this. They want to talk about what happened. They want to talk about what happened. They want to talk about what happened. They they honestly do. For some of you, this is uh, Aries or a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They they're tore up inside. They. Uh, they they're tore up inside. This could be a Leo or an Aquarius. Yeah, they did. They did not want it to end like this, and I'm. I feel like there was a total loss. There was a total loss because we got the Ten of Swords and the Death card. So there was a total loss. This is something my left eyes jump into while I'm seeing this. They did not want this to be destroyed. They feel guilty about it. I'm hearing you're perfect in my eyes, but as long as you're happy, as long as you're happy. So this person looks at you, looks at you as like you're perfect. There's nothing wrong that you did. It was all majority of this was on them and they feel guilty about it. They're upset by how it ended. It didn't end the it didn't end uh the right way. But this person does not want you to find somebody new. Okay, they want another chance. They're willing to fight for it. They're willing to fight for it.
Yeah. See, this person, you could have felt like this person gave you the runaround, but this person felt like they didn't give you the runaround. Okay, I'm hearing that as well, too. Like, I didn't give you the runaround. I'm hearing something just don't feel the same um, with the Nine of Wands, King of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. They don't feel the same because how you betrayed it, okay? You definitely went out and betrayed the collective here. You betrayed the Divine Feminine. So that's why it don't feel the same. It don't feel the same because you feel guilty about what you did. You're not taking ownership. That's what the problem is. That's fine on you. I'm getting like, they could be fearing that it's over for real, for real this time. Like, cause you're moving on peacefully. Like it's not a tumultuous, it's not like a, a big, big, huge shakeup at this moment in time. There could have been in the past when it previously first happened first happen, but it looks like you're moving on in peace. This person is afraid of that. And when they're sitting here watching you, This person said they're going to try to give you a break and see if you was going to come back. But I don't think you came back. They want to see what your other options looking like. Why is the Empress here? This is the Bi Feminine. They know that they disappointed you. They know that they broke your heart. They know that they hurt you. They put you in a third party situation. This person had a lot of secrets. Um, they were could have possibly been in a secret relationship, okay, with this third party, okay, because we got the Moon, Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Could be in a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but definitely a third party. This person know that they disappointed you, okay, and they feel guilty about it. This person saying, I didn't mean to take you through that. I didn't mean to take you through that. That's that's what I'm hearing. I didn't mean to take you through that. This person also is saying that they didn't have a choice at that time. They felt like they were single. Um, they was waiting on you to reach out to them, waiting on you to give them some type of offer. But they felt like, you, you know, like... Like you would try to get revenge or they knew that you would try to was trying to get even with them. So they feel like they didn't have no choice but to tell the truth. So you can see the truth of the matter. This person was waiting on you to come back. person feels real guilty about how they handled the situation. I feel like this person reacted off of impulse. They feel like they took you for granted, but they feel like they gave you, uh, they feel like they gave you some type of ultimatum to see if you was going to go for it. But they knew revenge was coming. They felt like you was you're you're trying to get some revenge on them by not responding to them, acting like they don't exist. It is what it is at this point. I feel like this person is going overboard trying to get your attention. Maybe some of y'all have changed your number. You're not communicating with this person. You're not even like it's nothing but this person. This person wants to come back into your life, but I feel like it's a little too late. Okay, I feel like they waited too long to come in and apologize. So they'll have to jump through hula hoops with fire around them. They'll have to uh, come to you begging with a suit and tie on and a, and a ring, an engagement ring. All They'll have to go above and beyond to even get your attention. Okay, so it is what it is. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.